Hello there, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm reading now for the month of May. This is a brief introduction. I wanted to show you the deck I'll be using, the decks. This is uh, the Tarot of the Mona Lisa, and it is particular because it is based in part on the Rider Waite deck. But it differentiates, it's, it, it diverges in so many ways, and you'll see as I read them, I'll be showing you the cards. And I'll also be using the Vera Sibila deck that I love so much, and then our, I'll use the Neapolitan cards if I need them, and uh, the runes, the, uh, a set of onyx runes, heavy, heavy onyx runes that are really grounding. Well, let's get on with the show. Hey, Aquarius, 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 I'm finally getting to you. I'm finally getting to you. I get to everybody in my family at least. <laughs> this is a um, reading for the month of May for you. Let's concentrate on what is in store for you, Aquarius, for the month of May. Aquarius, for the month of May. Aquarius, for the month of May. One more. Aquarius for the month of May. Beautiful. I'll show you these cards. Gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Let me show you the cards. When the, the spread starts with the Ace of Pentacles, mm, we're cooking with gas, Aquarius. The High Priest, the Hierophant, we could call it the Hierophant. The Four of Swords, the Lover's Card, and the Knight of Wands. Very interesting moment these months are. May, April, May, June. Very, very interesting. Now, uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a card that talks of uh, the Earth signs, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This period, and we're in the Taurus period when we come into the month of May. And um, the question you ask, you ask yourself are, the questions you ask yourself at the beginning of the month are the same that have been uh, in your mind the last um, days of, of April um, because you're questioning your stability. Where am I? And this has been going on for quite some time. I remember the past readings, decisions that had to be made, where you're going to teach, where you're going to work, where you're going to move, where you there you have many options. And I still see the options available to you. It's a very propitious period for you. And I see this as being um, one of the most important periods because you have to take stock with a decision you made or are about to make. I'm seeing it as about to make. I have the lovers here as well. Now, uh, the... Um, the, the way that you uh, take action, what type of action you're going to take. It's also a Taurus card, this Hierophant. It's a Taurus card, and you are in the Taurus period in the beginning of the month. It is so fundamental for you. It is so, um, it's a high point of your life. Everything, you will feel that everything rides on this, and what is your environment, what constitutes the context of these decisions and ideas is the Four of Swords, and, and typically the Four of Swords is a waiting card. Um, it's Jupiter in Libra, the Four of Swords. Now, we're talking here, if this is an indication of time, Libra period will be, uh, let's see, the Libra period is September 21st to October 20th. It may be, and what I'm thinking is that the decision is made in the, big, in the Taurus period, and you make plans and they are enacted and fully complete by the Libra period. But we'll take uh, cards on those, the Vera Sibila cards on those. The, the emotions, your emotions. Mm. 
it's a highly significant that the lover's card has come out in the emotional position of the spread. And why is that? The lover's card is a card that um, is Gemini, represents Gemini, and the period of Gemini is the 21st of May to the 20th of June. So you have this month of May, which is so important because the decisions need to be made now. You're really torn between different options, and I see that. But how can we then go forward? When is the change going to come about? We did talk about the Libra period. But what ultimately will the change be? And I have the um, Knight of Wands. You will be listening to your gut. You will be thinking, I have to go with my gut. I have to go with my passions. I have to go with where my heart brings me. So the heart and the gut, it's, it's a, a real... Um, sensual response to these questions it's a real uh, because you you feel you do actually Aquarius have the world at your feet in this moment irrespective of all of the difficulties that you have family difficulties uh, friends uh, lovers difficulties but you do have a lot of choices and that's clear here but you're going to go with your gut now I'd like to take the uh, Vera Sibilla here on these cards to give us a different perspective and a clarifying perspective in terms of each individual area and domain of the reading. Let's start with this Ace of Pentacles. Yes, okay. Uh, Aquarius. We have this um, Dottore, the doctor, Riunione, the meeting, and Amalato. And we have the Dr. Namalato is quite interesting because we did talk about having your feet on the ground, the Ace of Pentacles, our Earth signs, and that is fine. Under, they say in Italian, sotto sotto, it all has to do with someone that you have your eyes on, someone who you have, are, have been pining after, someone who is, and I'm getting it as not in your life, for some reading reason, it's not even pining after, it's someone that, it could be, for example, a person who you found out that was a relative, you didn't even know they were a relative, they just entered your life years ago, recently, or a person you met, uh, say, four or five years ago, who has not, who you have not had a relationship with, but has put a mark, has made their mark on you, something a, a very significant person, could be a friend, could be a relative, could be a, a significant other, for you significant, even if they are not in your life. That is on the back burner and has been for an, such a long time. And your desire, you're questioning yourself as to when can I see this person. On stable ground, putting your feet on the ground. Stability, remember this, the watchword is stability here. Let me go now to the Hierophant, the actions taken. Let's take Hierophant. Oh, this is something you do very personally. All right, we have um, Militare, the military. We have Pensiero Thought and Casa, the house. Military talks of secrets, not ex secrets in, from the family, from family members. This is something that you muse about on your own. And you've been thinking they are not privy. The family is not privy to your decisions. There's something about the decision that you are about to make, that you're going to go with your gut, okay? Remember that. That has some kind of attrition with the family for some reason. You don't want them to know. You don't think they will approve. They will put you th through the third degree in terms of why this, why that, are you nuts going to do that? You know, so, so there's something about that decision that you want to keep away from family members. Also, this four of swords in terms of the environment, why it's you're extending, why is this decision taking more time or why it will it materialize further down? And I have these cards that speak very clearly, all right? Deliranti, the delirious people, falsita, lies, and prigione. Now, at, in, in relation to what I just said, 
Why is it being postponed? Because you need to create the groundwork in order for people around you, notably family members, close friends, your, uh, your inner circle of family and your outer circle of family, for them to accept it. So it's your doing, really, this postponement. And um, the emotional side to your, this, the decision, the actual decision, the lovers here. Okay, now I've got here Viaggio, movement, trip, Speranza, hope, and Costanza. The decision that you would be making, uh, dictated by your gut, has always been the decision that you ultimately wanted to take. Last year, two years, since you had to do with meeting that, since you met this person, since you met a significant person, a relative, a, a newfound relative, newfound friend, a, a person, the, it's always been the same. And you're not going to be dissuaded from that. And this last, the Knight of uh, Wands here, the change card, the actual change, will it be sweeping as we thought? Um, Denaro the safe, uh, money, could be an institution, so Spiri sighing and Mercante, the merchant. Now, it will be on solid ground, the decision based on solid ground. You're going to wait for that opportunity to come out, and it will be solely based in the eyes of family members and friends who, who have sort of a, would be conflicted by your decision. It will all be based on your, um, your professional needs your work needs. It will be, let's say, I'm going to uh, New York to live because it's the best job that I have found. I'm going to um, Timbuktu because I was made an offer I can't refuse. So that is the sweeping change and that's going to be the motivation behind your decision ultimately. Let's see what the casting does to the reading. Ah, oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to find Rido Brightstave and um, Theresa Brightstave and uh, Urus Brightstave. You're going to find, you're going to have to find, and this is um, the key to your, um, uh, your decisions in the month of May. You're going to find a way to appease everyone, and it's going to be um, based on your work. And you're going to go forward with that full speed ahead. What's interesting here is, again, the Anzus uh, Merkstave that tells me you are not uh, making anyone privy to your uh, decision, uh, any family member yet. Um, there is a Watts is a protective room. There is a, a certain amount of um, camaraderie with former colleagues, certain very close friends that are helping you, people in the know that you have worked with, that you have studied with, that you um, are close friends with, that will help you. Dieg, right next to Awats, is telling you that, look, no matter what you do, it will work out because you are putting out your safety nets. There is a safety net. Gifu. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been coming out so much in these readings. Gifu is telling me that there is a, a web of relations that you weave in order for you to make that decision. It's a very strong decision, and going with your gut is ultimately going to make, be very, very interesting for you. Reminded, that I'm here to remind you that it is a... Um, uh, there is AWATS and there is Dayak that are working for you. There is protection there. I hope this was of help to you, ladies and gentlemen, um, Aquarius friends. And let me take this opportunity to thank all of my diehard supporters. I thank you so much, subscribers. I really appreciate that. And welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome to this channel. Until we read together again. Bye-bye.